What is good, everybody? You are tuning into another episode of the One Shot Podcast with your host with the most, Mr. Ranks HTX. We got a special guest today on this podcast. Uh, a person I've been friends with for a little while, and I just thought about it, and I'm like, you know what? I haven't had this guy on a podcast. Let's get him on the podcast real quick. You know what I'm saying? For those of y'all that don't know, you know what I'm saying? He got the nice, he got a nice background. You know what I'm saying? He got posters. Man got a guitar. You know what I'm saying? He got dumbbells. You know what I'm saying? He's a multi, multi-faceted man. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? We got my boy Nas T2P with a zero at the end. My boy Nas. How we doing today, bro? Uh, good as I ever be. How is it going, my man? What's popping? What's popping? We doing good, man. Today, for anybody who's wondering, we're recording this on May 27th. Yeah, May 27th on a Saturday, around 6 p.m. in the evening. This is usually around the time I shoot my podcast, you know what I'm saying? I had to get my boy Naz on here. How exact? Okay, so it's funny the way I ended up no, I ended up finding out about your, um, it was your TikTok page first. Mm-hmm. It's going on TikTok, right? And I saw that you were talking about like older Call of Duties and stuff like that. And I'm like, hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, the style, the, like the commentary kind of style of content was like, okay, I'm like, all right. And it kind of has like a, no homo, everybody relax. It kind of has that voice kind of for content creation, you know what I'm saying? That like, the way, the, his delivery and stuff like that, so I'm like, alright, let me check him out a little bit more. And I saw that he made this one video, it was like the most OP guns in like Black Ops 2 or something, and I'm like, bro, that is a fire freaking idea. So, I'm be honest, I stole the idea. <laughs> I'm be honest, I stole the idea. I'm be honest, I stole the idea. Hey, hey, let me keep it 100 with you, let me keep it 100 with you. I seen a couple of your TikTok videos, I was like, you know what? Let me, let me go ahead and, uh, Take some of his ideas and let me try to incorporate it into my own. You know, you know, you know. He he popped off. Let me see if I can pop out doing the same thing. You know. Hey man. Hey, look. He said he can see if he popped out doing the same thing. For context purposes, I did. I did a video. It was the top. I think it was most overpowered guns on Black Ops Three. I got like three hundred forty k. This man got a mil. That's my most viewed TikTok video even right now. I'm sitting at one point one like. People love Black Ops 3, bro. People love Black and, and Ops 3. No surprise. That's it. That's probably today, right now, that's probably the last good COD. Or as I say, excellent COD. Oh, yeah, 100%. And I say it all the time. That's like one COD. If there's like one COD I can really relive, it would be Black Ops 2. But if it was a second COD game, Black Ops 3 is up there. Black Ops 3 is just, is just something about the multiplayer. It was vibrant, the camos, the guns, the maps, the contracts, the crypto keys, the supply drops. So much about that game that just makes you happy. You know, it's like playing, it's one of those games you play and it makes you happy. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now let's keep it on it. Black Ops 3 wasn't perfect. Yes, you oh. said supply drops. We, we're not going to get into that topic, but you know, give it time for another day. You know, you know, give it time for another day. You know what I'm saying? Another time for another day. We about to be talking yeah, 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 about. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, knowing Naz, bro, we about to be talking a lot about Call of Duty today. So, for the audience, they don't necessarily know who Naz is. So, for for for, for the audience, Naz, why don't you tell them who you are, what you do, and who is Naz to this very day? Tell us about yourself. All right. So, if y'all don't know me personally, my name is Naz. That's not a full name, but now this is all you're going to get. That's all you're going to get. You <laughs> I, know what I'm <laughs> I've been streaming for about a couple years or so. Really started taking seriously around 2020, 2021, you know? Because gaming, I've been a massive gamer since I was able to pick up a controller myself, you know? Mm-hmm. It was something me and my old man shared myself. Me, you know, we like the game. Like, you know, ever since I started to get into Call of Duty, my first COD, COD 3, I know some of y'all's COD's maybe would be Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, but hey. I'm an OG. I personally started off with COD 3, you know? And ever since, I just ever, I just, I just have a passion for gaming. And it's something I just really love to do. And like I said, in 2020, I really started to take it seriously. And recently, I started to take off, you know? It's not really so much the money and the benefits that I'm looking for. It's just, you know, something I have a passion for, you know? At the end of the day, it's all about gaming. It's all about spreading love to the community. At the end of the day, this is all it is, you know? I love to hear that, man. I love to hear that. And now the fact that you really raised up your hands, I realized, do you have a whole robe on? Is it like a... Kimono. Japanese kimono, baby. I got a collection of them. Hey. So he got a guitar <laughs> and a robe, bro. <laughs> Here's the thing. A lot of my friends give me shit for it. Ew, you collect kimonos? You're such a weed, man. Nah. Such a weed. Say, hey, I don't care. I love them. They fit me good. I got about seven more sitting in that closet right now. I was about to say, man, hey, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 you know what I'm saying? There's no point in getting married no more, man. Nas that, that, that's, that's from take all the wives, you know what I'm saying? My man got a guitar and a robe. Right, right, right. A guitar right. and a robe. You can't beat that, bro. 
I got the Riz, man. I got the Riz. Bro, he doing bicep curls in one hand, playing the guitar in one hand with a roll bomb, bro. Like it's, 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 it's just automatic. Like this man's OP. So I need, I need, I need the latest patch on this guy. He needs to be nerfed. This guy's too OP. What are we talking about here, man? <laughs> hey, Man, here, don't nerf me, man. Please, please. I, need, I need to hit that ball with the. What was a gun that got nerfed so bad that you remember? Random question. What was a COD gun that you remember that got nerfed so bad? The only gun that really comes to mind was the Vester from Black Ops 3. That's what I was because about to say. Pre nerf beta, that gun was dumb. And then they just nerfed it, and then they buffed it, and then they nerfed it again, then they buffed it, then they nerfed it again. It's like. Leave this gun alone, please. Dude, you want to know how good that gun was, bro? So, look, quick story time, right? So, I have a boy. His name is Jesse, right? The thing about my boy mm -hmm. Jesse, right? He was, he, when we, it's so funny, because we were in high school, right? We were all, like, we had this, like, sort of circle we all used to play PlayStation with, right? Everybody was sort right. of 2K players, because, like, 60% of that whole group, they all play basketball, right? right? The thing was, we got, we got Call of Duty. We got Black Ops 3. Now, not many of us were that good at the game, because we weren't COD sweats, you know what I'm saying? Right. And then in comes Jesse. Nobody knew this guy is like a 3KD borderline can go head to head with Skump kind of, kind of Call of Duty player. I didn't freaking know that. I thought this guy was a casual. And I just get in the lobby and this guy is shitting on me. I'm like, <laughs> bro, what? So, that bro, I mean, bro, I mean, I, I, you want to know how bad it was, bro? I don't know how bad it was. Right. Him being that much better than me and him talking that much shit is the only reason why I'm good at Call of Duty to this day. I swear for God, if I never ended up meeting him, bro, I'd be a casual Call of Duty player. Right. That because right, right. I want I I hated hearing him talk shit so bad that I'm like, bro, I have to be good at this freaking game, and I did. I did. I became very good at one point to the point where we went like head to head twenty four seven. Like he'll have it's a tempest. The it's the shit talking that's gonna make you get better, man. It, 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 he'd have a tempest. He wipes out five teammates. I have a tempest. I wipe out five teammates, and we're just both in midair, just like who gonna win who? You know what I'm saying? And we were, we were at that point. I was winning. I ain't gonna lie. Look, Jesse, if you're listening, look, I was winning at that point. You know what I'm saying? He was winning <laughs> in, in 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 the pre stage a lot, but like for that little like fifteen percent of that end stage, I was winning. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That's just how it mm. was, man. But the thing about it, right? There was one day I ran into him. Kid you not, bro. He's on the other team. I'm on one team. This dude had a Vesper. I remember the attachments. I remember the attachments perfectly. Long barrel, fast mag, rapid fire. I'm sitting here wondering how the hell he has a Vesper with no grip and rapid fire, and he's lasering me across the map. <laughs> I'm like, well, okay, not a cross map, but he's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't look like there's a lot of recoil on the gun. Like, he handled the recoil on, the recoil control with that gun was crazy. And I'm when I saw that, I'm like, bro, the fact that you don't even need a grip with rapid fire, and it was that steady, and then they it nerfed was that it, good. and then they nerfed it, and then with the grip, it's still uncontrollable. I'm like, bro, they torched that gun to the ground. I was either gonna say, I was either gonna say that gun. Or the Razorback between the beta and the actual game. Hey, hey Razorback was still pretty good, though. Now, it wasn't as good as it was in the beta, but mm -hmm. it was I Like, you know what I'm saying? It was one of those things where it's like, if you had if you had the Razorback in the beta, you weren't losing a gunfight. Now, mm -hmm. if you got the actual game, mm -hmm. you had to play smart. And it's one of those guns you can't just, just full-on, full send shit unless you ran or unless you just moved really fast or great movement. Right, you know what I'm saying? right. One of those type of things. It was it, it was somewhat of a difficult gun to use. I ain't gonna lie. Not everybody can use it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people yeah. use it. You know what I'm saying? You get spawn trap by me and my six man squad. You know what I'm saying? Sentry guns, power cores, <laughs> haters in the sky. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a whole map yeah, lockdown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're not you're not sitting at a chance. You're not sitting at a chance. So God forbid you take that gun into hardcore because that gun in hardcore. Why was that gun so? Uh, I just reminded me that gun was very good in hardcore. I'm not gonna lie. Because it literally has no recoil and it like no, one to two shot. You one to two stand shot. a chance. And it was an SMG, so you could just boom boom shoot anybody wherever up close real winning. I mean Damn, I forgot I forgot about hardcore. Okay, okay, so you just remind me. Uh, hard hardcore with that gun. It's pretty solid. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. Right, 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 right. So the NAS part of your name, all right? You don't have to reveal too much, but mm -hmm. I, I'm 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 gonna format the question like this. Is okay. NAS part of your government name, or does NAS have nothing to do with like anything government-wise? It is part of my government name, yes, it okay. is. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I had it to is. ask, 
Because I'm like, I don't want you, you know what I'm saying, just to reveal the whole government name, you know what I'm saying, to everybody who's listening. If you want to, that's entirely up to you. But I, yeah, I yeah, automatically yeah. assume you don't want to, so I just had to ask, you know what I'm saying. So Nas <laughs> is a party of government name. Now, the the, 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 the two P0, where, 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 where do those last three Indian characters come from? It's funny you should say that because, you know, my father gave me my actual name. I'm not going to reveal it because it's kind of embarrassing. But let's just say, don't like my actual name. So, you know, I just shortened it to Nas, you know. But one day I was in church in 2017. I thought, you know what? What would happen if I changed my S to a Z? Ah, a little bit creative there. And, you know, you know, the original rapper Nas. Of course, we mm. all know the original rapper Nas. Oh, yeah. And, you know, like I'm kind of into music myself. It's the guitar. Mm-hmm. And you know, I thought, you know what? What if I'm? What if my rapper name would be Nas 2.0 after the original Nas? 2.0. And it just and it just stuck to me like that. So that's what it stands for. That's looking kind of fire. 2.0. Nas 2.0. Okay, I, I, I mess yeah. with that. That's very tough. That's actually tough. I'm glad yeah, yeah, I asked that yeah, question. Yeah. And, and I hear we was a two P zero or two po. Like, nah, it's two point oh, y'all. Come on, I ain't gonna lie. Right. Look, look, yeah, I, but I understand it because from the outside, it's like they don't know what that is. You know what I'm saying? Because, but now you mm. told me it's two point oh. So that, so Nas two point oh. Bam, that's yes. that's how it is. So anybody listening to anybody that sees the name anywhere, just know it is Nas two point oh. Right, it's the two point oh. Zero. Zero. Oh. Zero. Not no. <laughs> to, no I, a, <laughs> I usually say 2.0. You know what I'm saying? That's just how like, it is. Oh, like, you know oh as in the zero. Not like the letter O. Because people get confused sometimes. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 For sure. For sure. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, long before we even like actually had a conversation, long before we were ever in the Discord, I saw you pin the TikTok video. I'm not sure if it's mm-hmm. the same pin TikTok video. But it's the video essentially saying um, how you got into content creation, right? Now, right. I know this is somewhat of a touchy subject, so you can reveal as much as you want to, dive into it as much as you want to. You know what I'm saying? How exactly did Nas get into playing Call of Duty? I, when everyone asks me this question, it goes back to the same answer. And the same answer might get repetitive and boring, but it's how it is. It's always somebody that doesn't know, you feel me? I got into COD thanks to my dad, because my dad absolutely loved COD. Like, whenever I just see my dad on his Xbox 360, PS3 is a superior console. But that's another topic, though, you know? <laughs> PlayStation gang, man. PlayStation gang oh, all yeah. day. Uh, oh, yeah. PlayStation all day, baby. All day, man. Come on, bro. That's what we talk about, man. Let's go. <laughs> but we get getting sidetracked. We're getting sidetracked. But, you know, all good, all good. my father, like, he was always, like, a big COD head. I would always just see him play. If it wasn't Halo or, you know, the new Gears of War, it was always playing COD. And I was just always glued to it. Like, my father's favorite COD is always Modern Warfare 3. And whenever I saw him play Modern Warfare 3, I was just... I was glued. I was intrigued by it, and I just loved it. And when I picked up a controller and finally played my first COD, which was COD 3, I was hooked. And after that, when I played Modern Warfare 2, I was hooked even more. And then when I played Black Ops 1, which is probably my peak hooked, I was addicted. I, I, was, I, I loved it. I was addicted to it, and that's just how I just got into it, because I love COD. COD is mm-hmm. always been my OG favorite number one, you know? Mm-hmm. I gotta ask. I gotta ask, right? So, so if, if if I ran into Young Nas, right, Young Nas, right, if I ran into him playing Black Ops One, what kind of player were you? What, what kind of stats was we rocking? I need to know. What kind of stats were we rocking? <laughs> Brother, if I'm gonna keep it a buck with you and everybody watching this, I was like bottom of the barrel garbage. I was too. I was terrible. I could barely hold a point nine. Tiny and lot, bro. I struggled to hold a point nine. I struggled to hold a point nine. <laughs> Kid you not. I don't know how, but I was struggling to hold a point nine in Black Ops One. Like But the thing was, we were young and we were just having fun with it though. Nah, I was trying we hard. Really That's the problem, fun. dude. Like <laughs> I was trying hard, so bro. You, so you were taking it seriously. That was having fun with it. That I was just, the main difference. I just fucking <laughs> sucked, bro. I don't think you understand. <laughs> I remember one day, bro. Nobody was on, bro. Like I was just so I was like, I'm gonna play with myself and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go crazy. I was getting shit on for three hours, and I like, and I was. It's so crazy because it's like the try hard then 
would like not touch the try hard of me now and i'm like i'm so mm -hmm. confused why i was so bad because this game the, if we're gonna be very honest call of duty is a pretty simple game even back then the games were even simpler it really is. Why, i just don't understand why i was so bad i don't get why i was so fucking bad i play it now against people with pcs and stuff over dropping blackbirds and attack dogs and chopper gunners because and these guys got 4090s in their pcs you know what I'm saying? Right. But like, like, why was I so bad back then? <laughs> I, I guess we just didn't know back then. I guess we just didn't know. It was we just, didn't know better. It was just something, bro. It was just something that was in that. It's just something that we got now that I just didn't understand back then. And I probably still don't understand it now. I guess, I guess really, I was just dog shit. There's nothing else to it. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, we were all dog shit until we watched some YouTube videos on how to get better, man. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Look, 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 I'm gonna say this right now, bro. You are not a good enough Call of Duty player if you have not at one point watched some Call of Duty videos on how to, if you You've never searched up how do I get better at Call of Duty, bro? Hey, you we weren't getting shit on bad enough. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I remember I was in a lobby. <laughs> Kid you not, bro. I was in a lobby, bro. Dude dropped. I really hopped to the lobby, bro. And I, I felt like I was, I felt like I was Superman. All of a sudden, enemy attack dogs inbound. I'm like, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Then I hear enemy gunship inbound. I'm like, dude, I'm frying this lobby. Look at the other team. This dude is 15 and 2. I'm like, all right, bro. I'm like, all right. Hey, you know what made it worse if you were playing Modern Warfare 2 and you're just chilling? All you hear is. Do you see what dirty above? <laughs> you're like, all right, bro. You're like, trying to. That put, the, that put the fear of God in you. Bro, Spade, if you were too really far, if you were too far from Bill, I just put my control down. I'm like, all right, bro. I'm just waiting to respawn. Just they don't hear. Flare gets to fly like this shit. <laughs> <laughs> He just like he just wanted to cry when he used her enemy new game coming. It's over. Nah, <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> and what makes it so funny is when I saw you reaching TikTok video of you playing Modern Warfare 2, and you got nuked on and left the game. <laughs> bro, I kid you not. You know what's so funny, bro? You know what's so funny? I tell people all the time that Modern Warfare 2 is the first COD I ever played, but I played it as like a four-player split screen offline. With my that was your first play. COD. Mm -hmm. But I was I once again I was trash. Like we played four player split screen like offline at, at like my house when my cousins brought the game. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I never owned the game. So when I was playing it that day, right? I never knew that when you got nuked, the guy says it's all over. I'm like, all right, look, I, I get that. I can you just say I got nuked and just leave it as is? Why the fuck do you have to say it's all? Like the game doesn't even end. What do you mean it's all over? <laughs> Like, like, hey, 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 PSA, you guys are all dog shit. We got nuked. It's all over. The contracts are done. The the, the pensions is done. The paychecks is over. We're done. Well, everybody's ass. We're dead. <laughs> like, they just had an insult there. He's like, hey, you just got, you're, getting, you're about to get fucking shit on them, man. It's pure disappointment, bro. He's just like, it's all over. I'm like, just the enemy new game coming. That's all you got to say. Bro, and now it's also another one of them situations, bro. That video I'm talking about, bro, that you just mentioned, bro, I'm sweating mm. my life out in that lobby, bro. Enemy new king coming. It's all over. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, new king who? New king. Enemy new king who? Not me. Not me. Now, now, let, let me remind you, this isn't back in 2009, 2010. You're getting 2023 lives where people are still one man army noobs and with dual world models. Bro, D, D, these kids, this was IW4X2, so kids are just flat out getting shit on for it. There was no, there was no AC-130, there was no chopper going up in the sky, because it's just flat out getting shit on. I'm like, bro, who is, bro, there's a guy on my team that was 5 and 35. Hmm? You can only have a PC to play this. Why did you spend $4,000 to be 5 and 35, bro? Like what, what? What is not connecting in your brain today, bro? Like, why are you this bad? I guess he just wanted to relive the nostalgia. I guess he just wanted to relive the nostalgia, you know? This motherfucking no. sightseeing in, in, in Skid Row, dude. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. Lock it in, man. Lock it in. <laughs> man, man. He's on the mat. He's on the mat. He's on the mat. like, man. I remember playing this when I was nine years old. I was like. Dude, gets new to across the map. Man, I'm just, like, you only got time to sightsee, bro. You've died 35 times, bro. What do you, you can't sightsee. The sightseeing's ruined. Like, <laughs> sightseeing a local match. Not where we're literally fighting for our lives out here. Thank you. Go sightsee in a private lobby. Like, what are you doing here, bro? I, I don't know, man. Like, that, that's, that just, that just blew the absolute hell out of me, man. That's, that's just, that, that's, that stuff was crazy, man. It really was. If you could remember the COD that you and your dad played the most, 
what would you say that game would be? Yes. Black Ops 1. Ding, 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 ding. I had a feeling it was. It's like, here's the thing. It's like, I don't want to say it. I'm going to go into a bit of a story. I don't know if I want to take up too much time. Go but ahead. I, I had this one. Go ahead. Because I would always go over his house every Sunday afternoon where we would get done selling newspapers. Because when I was young, I always used to sell newspapers with my grandfather around, what, 7 a.m. to about 3 p.m. Now, mind you, back then I was only making $20. And $20 was a lot of money back then. I mean, it was, bro. $20, well, $20 an hour, man, you, you can't even afford to be poor at this point. Like, <laughs> inflation is crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, it's, like, no, it's $100. doesn't even seem like a lot of money because you can only go do that in one spend. I'm telling you, man, it is crazy, bro. But, but back, back to the story because uh, mm-hmm. I, I would go over his house on a Sunday afternoon. First game we would play, or we would just watch a movie. But after that, we would always play Black Ops 1. That would be the first game in his console. And we would always hop on the multiplayer. And he would literally hand me the controller first. Nice. And I, I don't know what it was back then, but I don't know. Because my old man, I was going to come in without revealing too much information. He wasn't really the perfect guy. But when it came to gaming, we always held that special bond with each other. Mm-hmm. And that's the game, Blackouts 1, that really just made me, I don't know. Like, it's making me kind of emotional just talking about it. Because it was just that game alone that is it's a father-son type gaming, you know? And mm. I would just, I would just play. I, man, just using the silence Galil on firing range. Just, <laughs> just mm. the sound of it, that little, tick, 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 that little sound that it makes, like oh man, oh, I love my that gun. God, it just sounds so good. And then a little, that's, like, that's like easily like top two nostalgic sounds right there. I love hearing. Like if I hear it right, if I was to play it right now, I know it's, I'm like, bam, that's the Galil. I know it is, bro. Mm, that's right there. You just know. You just know it. But just playing, just playing, just hearing him praise me. Good job, son. Good job, son. Oh, son, he's right there. Oh, son, turn around. It's just it's that special bond moment, you know? I don't know how to describe it outside of a special bond moment. Mm-hmm. That's why I just love that game so much, because whenever I hear Black Ops 1, or whenever I hear someone say Black Ops 1, my dad's the first thing that comes up. I, I, I freaking love that because that Black Ops 1 for me was just like that first car that I own. So for you to have that like every single time you hear the word Black Ops 1, it's bam, just that instant like joy you think of every time you hear that game, every time you see it, every time you play it. Like it's it always a special bomb, man. That, that can right. never... Guess, I'm going to ask you a quick question. Right? Guess how many times I bought Black Ops 1? How many times you bought Black Ops 1? Is it above 10? 15. You're getting hotter. 16. One more. 17. I bought Black Ops 1 17 times. On the same console, or are we talking like different like uh, systems? Between the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Mm, okay, 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 okay. That, that that makes sense from like different consoles. Okay, that makes sense. But why 17 though? Like I'm, I'm a little stuck on the 17. Why, why 17? It was either I end up breaking the game or losing the game. Hey. <laughs> Man, I used to know somebody. Every time bad, he was... as bad as it is to say, I either broke the game or lost the game. Dude, because I'm like, bro. <laughs> it's like 17 times. But when I used to have a game that broke, bro, my Black Ops 2 broke. Don't know what the fuck happened. My PS3 ate that shit. Kid you not. I put it in there, bro. I hear, <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> I no. T- took it out, bro. It was just mean ass lying through it. And I couldn't afford new games. So I'm just like, oh, that's it. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's it. I was just waiting. I was waiting until the life cycle of Black Ops 2 ended. Because you know how, like, the way discs are, that, like, little, the reflective part. If the crack goes into that part, then you can no longer mm-hmm. play it. So I was just waiting until the crack went into that part to see when I'd stop being able to play. And the day I stopped being able to play, it was just, it, you didn't know. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, you open it, you're like, yes, I played it today. And it was just that one right. day where I told myself, you know what? I kind of miss Black Ops 2. Plug it in, <laughs> turn it on. Everybody misses Black Ops 2, man. That's like the peak of God right there. It, I, I put it in to my I put the disc into my console because oh okay 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 you remember okay okay, okay I had to add the context to it I'm thinking about it and I'm like oh fuck that didn't sound right at all I ain't gonna lie I <laughs> didn't sound right at all I'm not even gonna lie to you man that's <laughs> it, it was a little extreme it was a little <laughs> you put it in the what 
Excuse me. Hey, yo, you, you, you did what? Hey, yo, you did what? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. PG 13, PG 13. Hey, it's kids watching this. You know what I'm saying? It's kids listening. You feel me? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. But man, I, I remember I, I put the disc into my PS3. I had a PS3 Slim. I put it, I put the disc in, loaded it up. It popped up. I pressed X on it. Black screen. And I'm like, took it back out, cleaned it, put the disc back into the console. Didn't pop up. You know how it pops up before you can press X to play it? I'm like, right. no, please. I'm like, no, it didn't show up. I, I, I took it out. Put it, I, I kept taking the disc, ejecting it, reject, rejecting the disc. I'm like, please work. And it didn't work. And I'm like, I don't, even remember, well, I don't even remember the last memory I had playing that game. I just remember a few memories of just playing it. But I don't remember that last memory I had. It was just, it, it's, it's one of those things where it's like you don't know what it's like whenever until you lose it or in terms, right. of, in terms of the game till it's like you don't understand because so, i was just like man i'm like oh, i didn't even get that one time to where it's like man this is the last i'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play this game and then just gone i'm a fucking ps3 ate that bitch so i'm just angry now, shit. now, now you gotta ask my dad for sixty dollars for another black ops 2 disc <laughs> They said no. I never played Black Ops 2 ever again. <laughs> oh, it, no. All it took was the no. I never played the game ever again, man. I, it was over with after that, man. I was upset, man. I was upset. I was upset. So, in terms of, like, content creation, right? In terms of, like, uploading videos. What game, even if it's not Call of Duty, what game or even what video, what was, like, the first sort of videos you started posting whenever you first started making content? Uh, are we talking YouTube wise or TikTok wise? Uh, which platform do you start on first? Well, uh, I was uh, on the fence of doing TikTok, so I just did YouTube first. Okay, okay. So first YouTube videos, we talking, or were they like full length videos, like full length gameplay type videos? It wasn't really full length, but at the time I was started streaming Black Ops Three back in twenty fifteen, and well, I was just doing it for fun, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then after a while, I kind of took a break from it. Then I started streaming games like The Last of Us and mostly single player games. And I really tried to like take it seriously when Black Ops 4 was out. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of doing okay, but I didn't really have the knowledge at the time to know how to like make growth of my channels, you exactly. know, if people like coming and watching. Now my fault, like I said, I'm just starting out. I don't really know this stuff. Mm -hmm. But at the time, like Black Ops 4 was really like a time when I was like trying to like go for it and take it a little bit seriously and at the time i was having fun with it but then i just kind of just you know let it go for a bit okay so <clears throat> in perspective right to, to, to put it in per, into perspective for us around 20 <clears throat> 2015 2016 around how old were you at the time 2015 2016 so about uh 15 16 on that age 15 16 so wait so yeah you're around my age uh yeah i'm about 23 i'll be 24 in a month or a week actually this motherfucker's 23. That's crazy. I'm 22. Mind, don't, 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 don't let the beard fool you now. I ain't some old head. I'm a youngin'. I'm a youngin' like y'all. And Man, I see the little chin. You, you, you the little chin going there. I, but, see, but I, see. I, I need, I need more. I, I need, this, this ain't sufficing anymore, all right? This ain't sufficing Trust me, brother. Anymore. Trust me, brother. It's gonna come one of these days. And when you got it, you got it. You know, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, though. It's crazy because everybody, everybody that's like, uh, that's like a guy in my family, bro. They, they all have it. There was at, at my age, they already had it. I'm the only person that just doesn't have it for some odd reason. I get facial hair yes. mad late. Like, when my brother was 22, he had a beard. I'm I'm 22, right. and I'm, like, struggling to make this longer. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I comb it all the time, put, like, beard oil and stuff. You know what I'm saying? All the fancy stuff for this tiny-ass goatee. And, and everybody else got beards at the time. So I'm like, you know what? I want to accept the fate, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 little, that little hope that you can get something better just, just makes, makes, you, it makes you wake up every day. Like, I ain't going to lie. Right. Even with consecration, made me realize, bro, passion can take you pretty freaking far. Passion can take you pretty freaking far. I always say it all the time. Laugh without passion is the same as being dead. <sighs> I be thinking, because you know, you know how sad, uh, man, I ain't going to lie, bro. To anybody listening right now, bro, if there's nothing you're passionate about, bro, find something. I ain't going to lie. Find it. Find it. I don't care what it is, motherfucker. I don't care if you're passionate about fishing. I don't give a damn what you're passionate about. Be passionate about something, cause it's like <laughs> it was like the thing how how Nas was mentioning how he said my phone just fell. Oh, it vibrated. But <laughs> um, he he had mentioned that um, what's it called? That every time he thinks of, hold on, one second. I did not think I was gonna have to take a break for this podcast. But give me one second. Hold on. 
we interrupt this broadcast, bring you a sponsor by Squat Dr. Squash. Remember, your balls will thank you later. I think I'm be taking a break and putting my own podcast, man. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the person. I'm the person supposed to make competition for everybody else when they leave. I, I have to leave. Stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. <laughs> but all right, we back, back, we good. All right. So what I was saying when 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 Nas had mentioned that Black Ops One, it didn't even. It wasn't even the fact that it was just a good game. It was the memories that came with that game. The things that happened. Mm-hmm. The, the, the like just the manner of playing that game not even just because oh man it's the greatest game ever it's just the memories that are attached with that game that's what matters all right mm-hmm. it's the feeling of that, that are, like the feelings the memories all that's attached with that game and i'm like bro the thing that a lot of y'all gotta realize bro is if it's not something that if there's no memories or no hidden mission or agenda behind something then like it's not as interesting as like how you think it is because it's like how i said at one point I just felt like I was supposed to do some of this content stuff. And that just pushed me past everything else. So I'm like, man, if you're not passionate when it comes to, I don't know, content creation, maybe you, maybe you want to be in college, maybe you want to be a, a fisherman, maybe you want to be a day trader, I don't know. Have something because discipline is cool. Motivation is cool. But passion is what makes you just like wake up and just not, like wake up at like four in the morning on some random shit. Passion is what right. makes you stay up till four in the morning. Knowing you got to sleep, being okay with getting two hours of sleep, being excited to just go home and do that that one specific thing that you know is going to make like that much of a bigger difference. Like That's what passion is for. Passion is what pushes you past, oh, I'm going to take from four to six to edit videos. Nah, fuck that. Like Passion takes you from four to ten. You know what I'm saying? Right. Passion is what makes you... D- Washing your face in cold water, doing push-ups in your room because you're too tired, and you gotta go back to editing and shit like that. I'm speaking from experience, mm. but <laughs> like, I mean, like that's what that, that's what keeps you going. Like, bro, there's nothing else behind. Like, people think, oh, you're just, oh, you're you're very smart, hey man. I ain't gonna lie, it's passion, bro. Because I don't know shit, but th- I want to know how to do it so bad that I do research, I Google it, I mm-hmm. see who's doing it, I watch a bunch of people, I, I find a, a lot of people that are examples. I see what they do, what doesn't fucking work. That's how we're in this podcast right now. I saw I'm, glad he did. That you, I'm glad that you said that, man, because when it comes to anything like a sport, a goal, a passion, college, whatever it may be, let me go ahead and tell you right now, you're going to suck at it and you're going to fail. A lot. But do not let that stop you because mm-hmm. once you learn and surround yourself with the right people, you're going to get better at it. And that, that, but just know when it comes to anything, you're going to suck at it and you're going to fail. That's, that's the thing with passion because you know you're going to, you know you're bad. Knowing you're trash, you don't, you don't, one of the worst feelings is being terrible at something, but keep having to show up for it every single time. But the passion, mm-hmm. passion is what's going to make you say, hey, even if I'm bad, I don't even care. I'm here. I'm here. That's right. It don't matter. I am here. I'm going to show up regardless. It doesn't matter. Like, like how was it was with me? I was terrible at fucking video games. I kept fucking playing. <laughs> I was terrible at making videos. <laughs> We're all terrible at making videos at one point. We kept freaking going. That's what I'm saying. So it's like there needs to be past, like, because especially because well, one thing, one thing, a lot of us have at one point when we were younger was dreams. We had a dream and aspiration to complete something, achieve something, something of that nature. And what kept the pu- kept us pushing towards that. I know some people that were trash at doing certain things. They were terrible at it, and then they turn around like five years later, and I'm like, damn, they're really good at that now. It surprises you how much like th- that. F- that burning fire in you makes you get up every single day. My camera's shaking because I'm too passionate, but it's like that makes you keep going every single no. time. <laughs> <laughs> you feel the passion with fucking hand when I'm shaking this damn table, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I, I mean, discipline is cool, motivation is cool, passion is going to take you. To, to heights and make you do things that nobody else is going to do. Like, yeah, most people, when they do college work, what do they do? When people do schoolwork, what do they do? Or whenever they do their job, what do they do? Have a set time for it, set time for recovery. Cool. But what if you're passionate about your work? Well, fuck you, you did that. They have to hold you at gunpoint to get you out of there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They got to punch right. you at, it, it, needs, it needs to get, somebody needs to be able to have to punch you at gunpoint and fire off a shot for you to stop doing something. Like, somebody... Everybody needs that one thing that they're that passionate about. Whether it's it could be your family, mm-hmm. bro. It could be your family you're passionate about. Kicking it with your family, hanging out with them, setting up events, having family events, make sure that that tight. Because I know some people they got a tight knit family, bro. 
cousins, brothers, sisters, family, friends, cousins, distant relatives, anything. You know what I'm saying? So, right. It could just be absolutely anything. But that, that's that's my just my slight little tangent about passion. You know what I'm saying? I just. Hey, hey, hey that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I just, just have when to it comes to passion, like I said, when it comes to passion, do it because at the end of the day, who knows? Who knows? Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. But if it doesn't, keep going. If it is. Just because it don't work, don't let it stop you. Keep going. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I kid y'all not, bro. When people be saying y'all takes that one video, they're not lying. <laughs> takes that one they're freaking not, video. It takes that one video. Like for me, that one video I uploaded, most overpowered guns in this game. Did that boom. Did pretty good. So I'm like, all right, let me do it again. Cause I'm putting two and two together. Cause I'm like, I'm I played Call of Duty a decent amount. All right. Nobody gives a fuck about these new games. All right. Mm-hmm. I have to somehow because i hear I, you've probably heard this before a decent amount of people will tell you like yeah man i'm good at call of duty but maybe they didn't want to be content creators maybe they didn't want to be streamers but then you think about it and you're looking you look at it and you're like man you spent all that time playing video games in your life and by the time you're like 25 or something it amounts to jack shit and i'm like make it worth something you know what i'm saying that's right. why that's why i was making <clears throat> so i was making those videos because i'm like bro I'll play these games for an uncontrollable amount of time, right? And you're good at it. And I, I was, I was so, I'm somewhat good at it now. So I'm like, hey, so I got this platform, and I'm like, let, let me offer my expertise. Because I know some people share the same memories with me, you know what I'm saying, like that. Like, for example, with Black mm-hmm. Ops 3, how I was telling people, I use this gun, I use this gun, how it was like using this gun, da 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 Because you know somebody's going to share that memory with you some way, shape, or form. So mm-hmm. um, I'm just... I lost my train of thought, but I'm just. <laughs> I actually lost my train of thought. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I, yeah, but, yeah. But but what I'm here though, I'm here though. You know what I'm saying? It's like sharing that memory and passion and nostalgia with other people. You know what? It's gonna make them want to you know. Leave a like, leave a comment. You know, hey, I remember using this gun. I remember playing this map. I remember playing this when I was a kid. You know. Yeah, like it's gonna make them want to see more. Like, there's one thing you do with your videos I like a lot, where you're like, imagine. I think it was uh, it was it was Black House one specifically. <laughs> Dude, it was black. You see a lot of Black Ops One on this page. I ain't gonna lie, and I mm-hmm. like the game, so I have no problem seeing it at all. So, remember you said you remember you woke up Saturday morning. I, I could just I could just, I just imagine my old house. I just run to this fat box TV I had in my room, right? <laughs> Shitty ass TV. I had the little, you know, the little three colored cables. It was the it was the yellow, right, the right. white, and the red. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I don't know what the red did, but I never used the red one. It, we will never know what the red one did. I don't know what the red one did, but it didn't do anything, bro. Like, it just didn't do anything, but it was always there. So, man, I remember um, I always used to freaking, what's it called? Plugging the, the yellow cable, white cable, turn on the TV, turn on my PlayStation, then just turn on, and I freaking load it up, and then you just see the 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 mason sitting in the chair you look around and i used to scare the shit out of myself at like 10 p.m on a saturday you know what i'm saying i click the zombies menu you see the color change and you see whoever's back there he walks away and all that person that comes back is the the zombie man man you're making me nostalgic again man yeah bro that stuff used to terrify me and i don't know why bro i don't know why i'll just be there for minutes just staring at it like man Mm-hmm. I, you just be staring at it, man. Like that, that is just a legendary game, bro. So like, when you, whenever you say, man, just the Saturday morning, you think of you ain't really got no worries. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I ain't gonna lie, as kids, sometimes I ain't even brush my teeth. I ain't gonna lie. I went straight to the game. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, I'll admit it. You know what I'm saying? I brush my teeth now. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck does me not brush my teeth ten years ago? I have to do it now. You know what I'm saying? Ten years ago, <laughs> I was I was two ten years ago, but that's besides the point. But. <laughs> No, I was twelve. I can't count. Oh God! You were two. <laughs> think about that. Was so like you were two? Are you sure about that? I can't count, bro. I can't count the Chick Fil A, bro. I can't count no more, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like you were two when you picked up a controller. Wow, man! Imagine somebody picking up a controller. He's two years old. His headset covering his whole damn head, bro. He's hanging off, bro. He's <laughs> shitting on you, bro. That's crazy. Uh, three year old shit on me and God, I was put down my controller and retired from Call of Duty and playing games ever again, my man. 
Man, I, I don't even know if I really even knew how to talk about the time I was two, man. This kid playing Call of Duty and shit. <laughs> he scuff jumping and shit. Giving call outs, calling out blackbirds with, with great reflex and centering and 360 quick scopes. All right, man. All right, look. He got it, bro. You know, this nah. kid's too advanced, bro. This kid's too advanced. Yeah, too. Nah, nah, nah. That's just not it for me right there. <laughs> nah, man. But th those videos just take me back, like, just to, like, even with me, a happier point of my life. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Really, man? It, it's. It, <sighs> Damn, Cause life was so simple back then. Life was so simple, and I'm glad when you said when I made that video about black alone just waking up on a Saturday morning. Cause I was always remembering downstairs sleeping in my grandfather's basement, just going upstairs, hearing him make breakfast in the morning, saying, "Hey, Nas, breakfast is ready." Uh, and as soon as I got to eat breakfast, I would go right back downstairs to play. And if my dad came over, he would bring over his 360. And remember, you brought up the uh, the uh, input controls, the yellow, the white, the red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you when you discover that HDMI. When you discovered that HDMI cord and saw how beautiful a game looked on a 65 to 70 inch TV, oh my! It's like you were just, you just, you just, you just were just like on your knees on carpet, just staring at it, just like this is the, this is this is what like next. I feel like I feel like I had like next level vision. You know what I'm saying? Like like I finally get, I feel like I was blind before, but now I can see for real. You know what I'm saying? I can see for real now, man. It, 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 it like, needs to be illegal to sell them hoes, bro. I don't know why it was that much of a drastic difference, bro. I'm like, why why were y'all selling this shit to me? <laughs> it was a better alternative out there. Why y'all selling me this shit? <laughs> It's like when your eyes just glaze, just glaze the upon. It's like, oh my god, is this what it's like to play in sixty frames per second, 1080p? Oh my god! And then when you went back to the input, it's like, oh my god, what is this? Oh, what is man. this? Man, bro, you know, you know, you know how annoying it was when those, and it's so much less complicated because whenever one of them inputs wouldn't work, you're like, all right, which one is? It? Is it the yellow or is it the, is it the white? You turn the white a little bit, nah. You turn the yellow a little bit, you turn back and forth, and you're like, well, that perfect, perfect combination, and bam, you're like, all right, we're good, we're good, and then and then we it's good, like, we good, we good. and then it's like you don't want to unplug it because it's like. Fuck, I'm like, bro, because if I move it or I unplug it, I don't know how to put it back. You know what I'm saying? You got to leave it in that certain position. And then maybe your mom comes in or your dad comes in. You wake up, it's unplugged. You're like, fuck, I got to restart all over again. <laughs> but HDMI, unplug, un unplug, plug in. If it doesn't work, go get a new one. Call it a day. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just like 10 bucks. You can get it for 10 bucks. You get your local game stop. <laughs> it made life so much less complicated, man. And you know what? What made it even better? What was, let me ask you a question real quick. I know this is your podcast, but I got to ask you a question real quick. Yeah, you can ask me as many questions as you want to. <laughs> what, is your favorite, what is your favorite COD menu screen? <sighs> Aesthetically, Black Ops 1. Music-wise, Black Ops 2. It's something about mm. that. I think I think I think it was Jack Wall Adrenaline. I think that's the name of the song. When I yeah, hear that, it. oh, it's just it just it's, it just like I'll be walking back and forth like I right, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to fuck up these lobbies. I'm about to give me a swarm today. You know what I'm saying? Walking back and forth. I feel like I was like I was him. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you were that guy, bro. That song, bro. Hey, study of studies have shown, bro. That song is more influential with boxers and, and, and gym goers than I have the tiger. Kid you not, bro. It performs better results than I have the tiger. I kid you not, bro. I might have to look that up. It was top freaking tier, man. That song was just, man, bro. That it made me ready to just like, just, man. It, it's crazy because the way I felt, bro, was different than the way I actually played out. I'm not gonna embarrass myself like that. I thought I would get. You know, I don't think I've ever gotten a swarm when I was on console. I never got a swarm until I got a PC. <laughs> I never got. A swarm. I was ass, bro. I was I just wasn't that good, bro. I got VSATs and dogs, but you telling me you never got a swarm on console? I mean, like when I selected swarm and try to get a swarm, no. But I have got one out of a care package. It's a different story, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've got one out of care package. I ain't gonna do. It. Oh, I was not that good at Call of Duty. I don't think you understand. I just was not that good, bro. But I wanted to be good so bad. So now it's like. It, it, I don't think you understand. I wasn't good, bro. Like, <laughs> was not the good. adrenaline it took to get the swarm. <laughs> and what made it worse is when you were this close. When you were this close and you just get bullshit by either one of three things. Bouncing Betty, a shotgun running dead silence, uh, or a DSR 50 from across the map. <laughs> 
Nothing's more annoying than like, all right, running around and just, Duh! I'm like, no, no, like, no, 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 no. Like, where is he? All you see is, I'm like, oh my gosh, bro. I still don't even know where this guy is at, bro. <laughs> And that was annoying, man. I'm I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I'm not even gonna mm. lie. So in, in terms of score streaks, what, what was what was the set of score streaks you always ran, or at least you see, in Black Ops Two? Let's do Black Ops Two. Black Ops Two. I would always well, if I wasn't ranking up and prestiging, of course, and having to reset the streak all over again, mm -hmm. I would always run one of three types of score streaks. There was either the Intel score streaks, UAV encounter, and orbital reset. Mm -hmm. There was the uh, chopper kill streaks, as I would like to call. It. I would always use the stealth chopper. The, I believe it's the escort drone. Yep. It was either the uh, I think it's the veto warship. What are those issues? Because you're guaranteed, and especially if you were playing domination or hardpoint, you were guaranteed at least a 200 bomb. Guaranteed 200 if you're running three of those streaks. Guaranteed, and, just complete and lobby then, destruction. And then there's the high roller kills, and I mentioned this in my recent TikTok video. The high roller streaks, and that was VSAT, dogs, swarm. Oh. Perfect, boy. Perfect freaking score streaks, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You wanna know who did it for me, man? You wanna know who did it for what? me? Optic what? Stump. The sweat banding video. I, I watched. Yes, I watched. I, I random. I think he was running those same streaks. Dogs, VSAT, Swarm. I put on those streaks thinking, I'm like, I think, I'm thinking I'm Optic Stump. I'm negative, bro. <laughs> I can't catch a break. <laughs> My boy thought he was him, and like, nah, you weren't him. <laughs> I thought I was, man. I thought I was, bro. So badly, man. I thought I was so badly, bro. When you, when you got those streaks, man, you were guaranteed to have some not so nice people comment on the other side of the enemy team, man. <laughs> people swore, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I remember the, the day I got like dogs and V set. I died off whatever else was after that. The first time I got, so I had somebody tell me I was cheating. I felt great, cause I'm like I'm not cheating at all. I feel great. I felt it's great. Just... Cause I, now, now you I get that shit all the damn time. But like I did, man. <laughs> I feel like I was him, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm you saying? You never had that one person that was say, you know what, cheat, cheat, man. It's like hey, you're cheating. Nah, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think I think I got more racism than anybody called me a hacker. I, I got oh, more Lord. than anything. Oh. Then I think, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Look, this this, this is a stupid ass question. I'm gonna ask it anyways. Shoot. Out of all the Call of Duties you played, which ones do you think had the most toxic game chat lobbies? Brother, <laughs> I'm gonna at least give you two games off the top of my head. The obvious one, which we all know where it came from, mm -hmm. OG Modern Warfare 2. Mm -hmm. like, if your answer's not Modern Warfare 2, you're probably not playing the right COD games. You weren't playing the right game. I don't know what you're playing, bro. You ain't playing Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> you were guaranteed some type of racism in that game, because that game was just downright toxic. Especially Search and Destroy, bro. Man, people don't give up on that game, man. They really don't. And the second one, this one might surprise y'all. Cod Ghost. Really? Yes. See, I ain't, I ain't even play Ghost like that. So I, I missed out on the whole, as crazy as this sounds, at that at, at that time, you know what I'm saying? It, it, nothing's better than when you show an entire team and all they can say over and over again is the same thing. I'm like, yep, everybody in this lobby negative. Yep. All they call me is a hard R, but everybody negative. Everybody losing. <laughs> everybody losing. <laughs> I'm spelled, Jeff. Would y'all would, would crucify me if I were to say that Kyle Gills was in my top five? I said it. I said it. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Kyle Gills is in my top five. Yeah, FBI, we, we we found him. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, he's he's in front of his PC. I'm, t I'm t I promise you. I guess you got the right guy. Yeah, it's the address. All right, all right, bet. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what are you saying, bro? <laughs> what are you saying, bro? <laughs> uh, let, let me let me look in y'all eyes and uh, turn the mic up for a bit in case y'all didn't hear me. Call of Duty Ghosts, the game that released in 2013, is in my top five. What is the top five? Then, because I gotta know what this top five is. I gotta hear out this top five. You feel me? You see, it changes from time to time, but I'm going to just give you the cards off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Card goes. Number okay. five. Okay. Number four. Black Ops 2. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, all right, I didn't get planned for it. <laughs> I didn't get planned for that one. Okay, good. As long as Black Ops is in there, I don't even care, bro. All right, all right, all right, all right. Number three, Modern Warfare 3. Solid game. Number two, Black Ops 3. Solid game. And number one, obvious choice, of course, Black Ops 1. See, I'm not even mad at that. I'm not even that mad at that top five, honestly. Really, realistically, that top five is basically Bond. If I was, to, what is, I don't even know. I haven't even constructed a top five. It's always top three for me. Because I actually was about to ask you what's your top three cards, but you said top five. So I'm like. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll even throw in an honorable mention of Black Ops 4 because I am sick and tired of motherfuckers always shitting on Black Ops 4. Hey, Finzy, if I you're watching this, loaded, Finzy, if you're, my, my boy Finzy is always in my chat. He's one of my mods. Finzy, I want you to know, bro, I don't know why you hate Black Ops 4. That was a great game. I'm, that was that a great really was game. a great game. It really was. And here's the thing. When it first released, I gave it a lot of shit. I did, I too. I really did. But once I learned it, and once I got better at it, I'm like, yo, this is the game right here, man. This is the game. Dumb and I'm, I, man, Black Ops 4. So everybody watching this, put some respect on Black Ops 4's name, okay? I'm sick of the slander. I'm sick of the slander. Sick of the slander. I'm sick of it, man. So they're gonna slant it, man. If I was to construct the top five, first, mm, I gotta put black. You know, mm, see, it's hard for me to put like these in order off the top of my head, but I'm just gonna name top five in no in no particular order. Okay. Gotta be Black Ops Two, Black Ops cool. Three, all right, Black Ops One. Okay. Modern Warfare Two. Um. OG Modern Warfare Two. Obviously, just, 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 <laughs> there's only really, really. I, I took you all the time. There's only one Mono Warfare 2. There's only one Mono Warfare 2. I don't know what the fuck dropped this year. I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's another game we don't talk about here. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching the CDL, some kid ducking up and down behind a freaking uh, 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 freaking plant face and shit. You know what I'm saying? For for two hundred thousand dollars, like this, this how people play for 200, 200 bands. You kidding me? <laughs> This motherfucker going up and down. From my perspective, I don't see shit. But on his screen, he sees everything. I'm like, bro, nah, man. You tell me, I'm you tell me, I'm playing with this broken ass mechanic for six figures. Come on, bro. Like, we, we're trolling at this point, man. But we, we, we trolling, heavy. We're trolling at this point, man. But um, what is it called? Psh, I'm trying to think. What do I want to put at number five? What do I want to put at number five? Um, better not be Black Ops One. I tell you that much. Uh, no, nah, I already had Black Ops 1 on there. The first time I mentioned oh, were basically okay. Black Ops 1 through 3. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Black Ops 1 through 3. I ain't gonna lie. It's just Treyarch makes all the good cards nowadays, man. Yeah, I mean, it's Black Treyarch cards. Treyarch cards are just. Infinity Ward is. They shaking a little bit. Sledgehammer. Who? <laughs> who, who, who's who? Who's that? Who, who? Who's that? I'm out of here, man. Um, number five. Based on the impact and just based off the fact that it made me just that much of a better content creator, I gotta say Warzone. I gotta do it. I I, I gotta do it because we talk. I can respect that. If we talking pandemic Warzone, I mean, bro, people were pulling like everybody was eating. Everybody was eating. Great videos, great clips, all types of great content. TikTok blew up for COD during that era. Like, man, it was just. I gotta just throw now. Some people say oh Wars was not a COD. I mean, technically I guess, but everybody's played it. Everybody just played it before. Whether you were on console, you had fun with it. When you were on PC, mm -hmm. you had fun with it. it. Didn't matter. So and just off of what uh just uh, okay now I'm gonna ask this question later on. But just off of how much it shifted the whole COD franchise entirely, it's gotta be Warzone. Now, the reason why I said I gotta ask a question is, is I gotta I gotta ask this question. All right, because like I said, this Dude. podcast is somewhat loosely constructed, sort of like a conversation, but I got to ask this question. Uh, Do you think Warzone ruined Call of Duty? See, when people ask me that, it's kind of a gray area, but I'm going to say yes, but at the same time, no. Yeah. I say yes, because due to Warzone releasing, it kind of took the shift off multiplayer. Entirely. And now Warzone's now the big red winner, and multiplayer is now just that thing on the side that you just play to rank up guns now. I'm sad it's like that, but it really is. Because like 
Blackout, like, I know we're horns about Blackout, it didn't really take away from the multiplayer. It, it really was didn't. just there. Mm-hmm. Two separate things. But, right, when Warzone came out, multiplayer just faded into darkness. And I say no, because before then, Call of Duty was kind of at, at this little middle peak. It's just the thing that was there. But when Warzone dropped, it gave COD that adrenaline shot that it desperately needed. Because as you said, it really took content creation to that next level. Because like you said, with Warzone, everybody was eating. You can name like a multitude of content creators up top of your head. Everybody was on Warzone. From Mercs to Swag to Biffle to Santana to you name it. Everybody was eating, man. Everybody was eating. And me personally, I'm not going to say I'm the biggest Warzone hater, but I'm not also the biggest Warzone supporter. Mind y'all, I was just playing Warzone on console, which was trash. It's, it's but trash. You know what? That's why I bought a PC. It's, it's, <laughs> it's horrible. If you weren't playing Warzone on PC, you were having a very horrible experience. But, you know, I can't really say it's good or bad. It's a mixture of both. You know? I, I said the exact same thing because it's like, technically, it changed our expectations when it came to video games. But I honestly think, because my boy Mikey always mentions this, he, I forgot how he found this, but he found the exact tweet that was used to announce that Warzone dropped. It was like a, it was like somebody, it was like one of the COD devs tweeted it from his car before he left work. Like, oh, hey, Warzone dropped, by the way, today at this time. Go check it out. (laughs) It was just some (laughs) loose ass post like that. They didn't promote it that much. The problem was. It took off so freaking much, and they made so much money. And I don't even think they really had a dedicated, like, department for that, really. But then it got to the point where it's like, okay, we just made, like, $2 billion with a B. And I'm like, um, yeah, there's no way we're not going to keep working on this shit because some, something's working mm-hmm. about this. And right. Warzone is what brought people, Warzone and Warzone during the pandemic, that's what brought people that had no inclination on Call of Duty. We had football players, we had basketball players, we had freaking who Odell Beckham, fucking Tom Brady, Lil Baby, and COD commercials and shit. I'm like, it mm-hmm. brought people that had no inclination or care about it to Call of Duty. And it's like, yeah, it's cool that it did that, but I almost feel as if they, as crazy as this sounds, I get that you can't entirely prepare for everything, but I just feel like they didn't think it would get to this point to where it's like, oh shit, we actually have to put more into this. Because now we're at the point where Warzone 2 is like, something's wrong. It's, it's not, It hasn't been perfect since the day it dropped. We're getting updates mm-hmm. that break the game. The update right. breaks the game. New update breaks the game. Adds some more glitches. They take some three months to fix it. Another update comes, or they uh, how it was with Cold War. They integrated Cold War guns. Holy hell! It oh the game. my god! I remember the day they integrated Cold War's weapons. It was a shit show at launch. <sighs> Aug M16 DMR. I'm like, bro, did y'all even test these guns before this shit dropped? Oh, I'm getting PTSD just hearing the DMR on the UG. Oh, no. Bro, seeing somebody... I was on a PS4, the first-gen PS4, and that thing was smacking shit across the map. I'm seeing Swag play with this thing. Man, the thing... He would... Just shooting that thing. It didn't even move. No recoil. I'm like, bro. I'm yeah, like, dude, like this is... I'm like, this gun It was fucking insane. It got to the point where everybody... Like, no, there was no variety anymore. <laughs> There's no variety anymore. That, 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 Warzone is what brought the quote unquote metas to Call of Duty. Like, there's no variety mm. anymore. Because I want to use some other shit. But I'm getting beamed. But everybody's playing different because of the meta. People aren't rushing. Mm. They're on head glitches, mounting on walls because of the DMR. So now I got to adapt. Or else I'm just going to keep getting pissed off. That's how I just, that's how the snowball avalanche effect. And now the whole freaking lobby using DMRs and Mac 10s. Or the mm-hmm. fucking creativity anymore. You know what I'm saying? People have these people don't even know the freaking good class host for it and shit. I'm still getting pissed on. Like, what is this? <laughs> My got a red dot on a Mac 10. I'm getting slammed. Like, bro. I'm like, it, it was to the point where it's just like, I feel like there were so many things that just they just couldn't keep up with. And then it also got to the point where I feel like they needed more money in order to keep all this shit going. And then now they're at the point where it's like, all right, they don't want to admit it, but I feel like this is at the point. This is where we're at at this point. I feel like 
they no longer can fully meet the expectations to make the game great. But they don't want to say that, and they're just going to keep dropping stuff. Because the new con is dropping this year, 2023. I didn't think we're getting a Call of Duty this year. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we're getting a Battle Royale for it. I'm like, okay. (laughs) I'm like... What about this unfinished piece of dog shit that's still here, bro? What, what, what? You make you're adding more, more. So you're gonna have support for Wars on One, Two, and whatever the hell this is three. Like, there's more. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm just like. I, I'm just like, bro. I don't think these guys. I think these guys are just too ahead of themselves, bro. They bit off mm-hmm. more. They can chew. They didn't think it would get to this point. They should have just left Warzone 1 as Warzone 1 and kept updating it over and over again with more maps and more. Warzone should have just been one thing that never should have mm-hmm. changed instead of Warzone 2. Why do we need a Warzone right. 2? It's the same mechanics, the same systems, the same guns, the same attachments, same kill streaks, same objective, same everything. Just have one game mode for it. What's the point? Now, with zombies, I can understand because somebody may say, oh, well, they did it with zombies. Well, well, they should have just one zombies, right? Well, no, because they have different maps, different engines. It has to match up. They have new guns, new implementations. Zombies is actually very creative. And zombies is not on the, on the scale of Warzone. So I'm like, they should have saw that, realized, hey, we can't keep up with this shit. But nah, they want to bring out Warzone 2. And whatever the fuck's coming, whatever, whatever COD's coming this year, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's just this constant effect of we can't keep up with shit, but we got to keep making shit to make more money. <laughs> so, so it's like, fuck it at this point. You feel they, me? Saw the, they saw the success of Warzone 1 and thought they were going to be make even more Warzone 2. I'm going to come out and say it. You failed. Failed. I think it they, they, didn't they, even come close to what Warzone 1 was. Dude, it, it, you want to know what's the biggest indicator that it failed? That's something that broke my heart. Probably Nas as well. Sending out these, 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 these cease and desisters. You know what I'm saying? Cease and desist. You get a cease and desist. Here, you get a cease and desist. Here, you get a cease and desist. Everybody getting cease and desist. Everybody getting them, man. It's crazy, bro. I mean, ah, uh, it's. <sighs> let's talk about it, man. Let, let, let's talk about it, all right? Cause, let's go. Because cause, cause right now, you must be about to play plutonium, all right? At any moment. Uh-huh. Tony can get a cease and desist. For anybody that doesn't know, all right, any sort of of player made project, community made server launcher for Call of Duty is getting cease and desist. Starting off with SM2. SM2 originally was supposed to be a Mono Warfare 2 engine based game that incorporated all guns from all different games. You, were you excited to play it? I got so fed up with all these shitty CODs that. I, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it, man, because I wanted something awesome. And that's something my me and my friends always talked about. What's something COD can do that's, like, unique from everything else? Incorporate all the stuff from the older CODs that were good, put it into one game. People would love it. People would just throw, you would have an illegal license to print money. Nigga, they'd be hitting an IRL money glitch with that fucking game. Why the fuck have they not done that yet, bro? I'd pay a hundred dollars. I, I promise you, I'd pay a hundred dollars for that shit. If they had a Call of Duty with, with all guns from every Call of Duty on like a great engine that allows you, they they can have BO4 movement. You know what I'm saying? You, you can still slide. Not not no boost jumping. You know what I'm saying to satisfy kind of everybody. But imagine right. they had that every gun from every freaking game, maps from every game. Man, I'm playing hard hat one second. Favela the next, Nuketown the next. DSR, ACR, 6.8, ACR, regular ACR, FA2000 or F2000, whatever the hell that gun's called. <laughs> it's called the worst cod in history. The worst gun in cod history. You know? I got so bad. That was so bad. Oh, it's like, bad. <laughs> Holy hell, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. There was a point where I was telling myself, man, I'm like, bro. I hate the new Warzone, but I'm like, I'm looking forward to SM2 because I'm like, this is going to be something crazy for me to stream. It's going to be something to draw for me to stream. Cease and desist. And then Black Ops 3 client. Made by the same people that make uh, the X-Labs launcher. Both of them. Cease and desist. Crazy. 
It's like, why? 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 Why did you do it? Why? There was literally the only reason y'all did it because y'all know y'all knew her cards are so bad. Y'all knew people were going back to play these cards because your current game is shit. It's in. And- go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Instead of improving your current product, instead of listening to the community, listening to the changes that can help improve your products to help people, to, to get people to play it, you want to shut down these old time capsules that people loved to get people to come play Shit Zone 2 and Modern Warfare, a game that nobody wants to touch. If I'm going to keep it a buck fifty with you, the only time I touch this game is when I'm playing with friends. Or as if I'm making small content, it was just very rare. But outside of that, I'm not batting an eye in this game. Never. And and it seems to me to say it, this is the one COD that I literally regret buying. Because just like Modern Warfare 2019, it had all the potential in the world to be the greatest COD. But as per usual, instead of looking at the product and how to improve it, you just see dollar signs and to milk it. Milk, milk, milk. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me, man. And the people that argue, uh, there's so many people that argue with me and say stuff like, "Oh, well, um, you know, it's it's their IP, it's it's it's, it's their property, technically, bro. Y'all know damn well that shit's been on for how many years? Since I got a PC, X Labs, Plutonium, that shit existed since I had a PC. So if you're telling me they d- d- don't even try to give me that, oh, they just found out and they realize it's bad and unethical. They knew damn well that shit existed. It's like right. you know, it's like you being a cop and you know damn well all them people were selling drugs on that one corner over there, but you ain't did shit for years. But all of a sudden, ah, uh, hmm. So now they 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 doing some other shit and and that, that we don't want to do. Oh, now it's ah. Uh, now and you know what the sad part was. You know what the sad part was, man. They weren't earning a dime from it, not a singular dollar. Zero dollars and zero cents. <laughs> zero dollars and zero cents. They were making nothing from this, and y'all shut it down for what? And the thing is, is bro, is like, like I keep saying, bro, they knew full well that shit existed for years, bro, years. It Why act no on it now? Why not act on it now? Cause now it's a threat to you. Now it's a threat to you. That's why they're doing shit like that. So to people that are saying it's intellectual property, fuck you. Because for, for one, they knew damn well it existed. They didn't do anything about it. They they could have did something the second they found out it existed. They didn't do it. Now I gotta go play, which <laughs> I, I mentioned in another podcast. These old cars on Steam, they're all sixty dollars. And uh, mm, the fact that these games are still sixty dollars for a price tag, as if they released on launch, and that's not even the worst part. Playing these games, especially on console, is a legit security risk. It is. The moment you hop into a lobby, you are risking your information. Your IP, your info. These games are not safe to play. Not to mention, they're hacked to fuck. Hacked to hell. Especially on Black Ops 2. If you get on Black Ops 2 on console or on Steam, you are guaranteed to run into a hacker. And it's, if you get on that hacker's bad side, they will literally get your information like that. Be wiping your ass offline and shit like that. Some some of that nature kind of happened to you at one point, right? Somebody just kept, like, messing with you and shit on your... It was on a Black Ops, I believe it was on a Black Ops 1 or a Black Ops 2 lobby. Mm. I think it was a Black Ops 1 lobby where I was literally just streaming from my audience. 500 plus motherfuckers in there. All of a sudden, kicked off one. Kicked off one. Kicked off one. And every time I hopped back on there, they were ready. They were a cheetah ready to pounce to the point where even they even got to my Discord and linked my IP to all of my people in there. Wow. Oh, you don't know about that. Yeah. Wow. They got into my Discord and linked my IP to everybody in there. Wow. <laughs> talk, man. We talk. I, hey, to anybody that thought that the security risk wasn't that bad, somebody at Activision, all right? Somebody could, you know, no, no funny shit, bro. Somebody can actually die from this shit. Niggas don't give a fuck, bro. People do not give an absolute fuck, bro. Somebody could full on find out where you live because your ass want to play Black Ops 2. I killed this hacker once. This motherfucker ain't got nothing to live for. He got hella guns. What if he pulls up to my shit? Then what? Because I wanted wanted to reminisce and play on a game that I had to pay $60 to pay, by the way. And you guys send a cease and desist to the only people that added that extra layer of protection for me and my game. Now you banned it. Now are they going to do it? Hell no. 
That's the part they mentioned. Since you want to sit here and set all these clients down that are protecting these games, that are protecting you from your information getting cured by other people, mm-hmm. are you now going to do it? Are you now going to protect these people from playing these games? Since you want to go ahead and shut all these people down, are you going to do it? They ain't going to do the it. The answer is no. Because you want all these new people and all these old heads to forget about these old cuts to come play modern shit fair, modern door fair, and shit zone too. A game that ain't even, bro, like, y'all don't even care about that game. Why Why do y'all want me to play it so bad? You don't even like the damn Y'all don't even like that damn game. What you want me to play it for? <laughs> what y'all want me to play it for? You want to know how much they don't like their own game, bro? They literally, we were complaining about the servers being laggy, how our pings would shoot up to the roof. You want to know what they did? They made everybody's pings sit at one. So if you were lagging, you didn't fucking know. If you died a ping, you wouldn't fucking know because your ping's at one. But they want to say, oh, it's a glitch. It ain't a glitch. They did that on purpose. So everybody stopped complaining. Notice everybody just stopped complaining drastically. It decreased drastically because, oh, I can't tell if I'm lagging or not. Whoops. Ain't that fucking crazy? They they just they just such they, they, they just such a bitch ass up and then just one ping. <laughs> like really? Like bro, that I'm just I'm baffled by that, bro. I'm baffled. That's right. that. The company that y'all, because people tell me all the time, oh, but I can't help it, man. They, they put this cool looking skin in the game. Oh, man, it looks so cool. I had to buy it. So I had the Activision, they went to my wallet and took out my credit card, which is already fucking 90% utilized, that I'm going to go buy another fucking skin that I can't afford again. I'm going to buy this stupid ass skin to look cool and go 4 and 15 every time I load up. Like. <laughs> And then these people wonder why these games still suck. You are the problem, bro. I bought no microtransactions for this game. None. Because I don't like Not this game. Not a single one. Not a single one. There's no point. The skin, the blueprints suck. The skins suck. Kind of. I mean, they had the nuke skin, which is funny because they had a nuke skin. <laughs> then you're able to buy the nuke skin. Then there was another version of nuke skin that looked better than the original nuke skin the chats work hard for. People were pissed about that. Because imagine doing all this effort to get the nuke skin. And mind you, this shit is not easy to do. And imagine you see that same exact skin that you worked your ass off to get in the store for $20 that little Timmy and also Joe with a 75-inch TV can buy for $20. $20. And you know, it's almost like, it's almost the same thing with like the, um... Like the Instagram blue checks, for example, right? The Instagram blue checks. Twitter, they make everybody get a blue check to be verified, right? That's a little different. But Instagram, you still get verified if you're just a normal person and you just have a very big following or somebody who is somewhat of importance. But nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Twitter. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Instagram, you know what I'm saying? They said, hey, you want to be important? Come buy yourself a check mark. To feel important. <laughs> That's why I love those memes. Like, hey, this guy bought a blue check mark. Hey, this guy Look got a blue check. Over here. Nah, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, 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 I'm gonna say this right quick. I'm gonna say this right quick. Because somebody's gonna get on my ass for this. I tried Twitter Blue because I message people for podcasts, right? And sometimes I reach out to a little bigger people for podcasts, these podcast episodes. I reach out to a decent amount of people. You know what I'm saying? The problem is, I'm at the bottom because I don't have a check. So I, I did it as a test for this month to see how high I can rank in those messages and if it makes a difference. If it don't make no damn difference, I ain't gonna have a che- I ain't gonna have no check mark no more. Now some of y'all have had that check. Now some of y'all use that check mark for no business purpose related. All right, and y'all have had that check mark a little too long and it's not really benefiting y'all. Some of y'all got fifty followers in the check mark. I ain't that no, enough. As an no, as an exception, if you want to sit here and edit your tweets. Oh, please keep the check mark. Oh yeah, if you be editing the tweets, that's kind of cool. That's low key a cool feature, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but kinda... if you just, but if you just got the check mark for the sake of wanting the check mark, brother, you'd be spending your six dollars better, my man. You'd be paying, you'd be spending your money much wisely, bro. And it's like that same thing, the same concept that they're adding to Call of Duty that they added with those nuke skins. Hey, do you want to feel important, but you're not an important person? Well, guess what? You're not an important person. That's why you don't feel important. But no, 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 no. We're changing that today. For twenty dollars, you can be important. What the fuck, man? Like, really, bro? And look better than the people that are actually important. I'm like, bro, that's wild, bro. That is wild to me, bro. Twenty dollars. I'm like, this skin actually looks better than the regular one. <laughs> and that's not even the highest price. I'm pretty sure y'all seen some of these thirty dollars skins that they just put in the game. Man, you saw a thirty dollar battle pass. <laughs> 
that thirty dollar battle pass, man, the battle pass is thirty dollars. I haven't even bought in the Black Cell bundle. I have not bought it, and I will probably not buy it at all. Bro, I, I haven't even played DMZ. You know, you know, a bunch of those DMZ skins are pay to win. One of those skins you buy it, you get it automatically UAV when you put it on. Another one you got Ghost. Another one, Silent Footsteps. Who at Activision thought that this was okay? I just need to know who, bro. That there's this. this. I want... What do those board meetings look like? Like who's in the board meetings? All right, y'all. We got people that play DMZ. I know our game is dying. We need some ideas how to make this game stressful again. What do you got? <laughs> what you know, do you we, got? Can, we, can, we can make movement better. You know, the same thing people want. No, you're fired. Get out of here. No, you know, well, you know. I told you we're not doing that. If I have to tell you again, I'm firing you. You know, we can put back in side canceling. No, no, that's not what we want. Get out of here. <laughs> you know, we can put in. How about a uh, thing that people can put in a bundle that can give them UAV and that sounds great idea. You get a promotion. <laughs> you get a promotion. <laughs> I'm dead. Man. That's like, fucking idiots, man. That's literally how they're running shit, man. Yeah, yeah. At this point, I mean, I hate complaining about COD, but hey, I like it so much and I hate the way it's turned out. I don't out. bitch at COD for the sake of bitching. I bitch it because I love it and I hate to see it go down this path. I hate to see it. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. COD has a COD. Hey, for, for as bad as this game is, I ain't gonna lie. I got a pretty loyal fan base. I ain't gonna lie. They <laughs> got a pretty loyal fan base. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll apply Call of Duty for that. I got a pretty loyal fan base. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. They do. You mean the, the, the loyal fan base that these seal based matchmaking can cater to, right? <sighs> those guys play the game collectively two hours a week. They're catering to those motherfuckers. <laughs> Put my heart and soul into this shit. Don't go fuck about me, bro. Crazy. Damn, bro. That's, that's so wild. I did, you know, actually, I, I have a question, right? In terms of, because I know, I know, like, each and every single Call of Duty, I think I know your answer for this, anyways, but I know the audience doesn't know this answer, right? Since you mostly, in general, post pretty much only throwback Call of Duty content. What game would you say has, like, the strongest sort of, like, cult fan base? To where it's like, man, if I make a video on this game, video won't pop off. I only gotta think about it. What's that? What, what are those games that you're like, these are, like, like gold mines for making content, so to speak? Uh, I can only come up with three cards that comes to mind. One of them I'm not touching ever again, which is Modern Warfare 2. I'm not getting back on that game ever again. Mm -hmm. That game is a shit show to play. Mm-hmm. Because if you hop back on that bitch right now, it's nothing but noob tubes, stopping power, UMPs, ACRs, intervention snipers at point blank range. No, absolutely not. The X Labs wants to prevent that. Oh, wait, it's gone. <laughs> Crazy. Anyways. <laughs> Thanks, Division. Thanks so much. Thanks. Wow, man. But <laughs> the only two guys that really come to mind that's really a cult following is obvious Black Ops 2. Like, people still to this day will defend that game to their last dying breath. Either that or me. This guy here. <laughs> That's me. I ain't gonna lie. That's me. That is me. Either that or maybe even Black Ops 3. Either Black Ops 2 or 3. One of those two games. I was even, I was gonna say Black Ops 3 for sure. Because every Black Ops 3 related video I've posted just takes the fuck off. I don't <laughs> even get why. They just, they just take the fuck off. Off, which I can't even make the videos on those games no more, man. Fuck, bro. Like, damn, man. How many videos I had in mind, bro? I had like 18 videos in mind, bro. Go on. I'll play this in front of some fucking 12 year old in Ohio, fucking yakking my IP and shit, leaking it to the whole US government. I got niggas in riot shields outside my crib and shit. Like, man, I always want to play Black Ops 3. It's crazy, man. Like,. That's wild, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. It's unfortunate. You got Activision to thank for that. Man, I don't think Activision understood how much those guys really carried the weight, man. Those guys were carrying weight for real, for real, man. They were doing something they didn't give us shit to do. Cause we we I ain't gonna lie, bro. We, we're not we're not we're not posting the Warzone too. Cause most people don't even like. You no know, funny fun fact. Most people don't even like like watching it. I don't like watching it. What videos can if you, you literally make on go on Twitch too? right now? If you literally go on Twitch right now, what's the viewership? What's the highest person that's playing Warzone? The highest person that you will get is maybe what Nick Merckx? You know, let's look right now. Let's look right now. Let's see. I'm my second monitor. Let me see. Highest person playing Warzone. We got. Hmm. We got Joe. Okay. All right. So 
So we got Joe Olsen at 2.6k. Okay. Uh, we got. Oh, wow. Let's look at that. Nick Merckx is not playing that dog shit game. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Um, now, mind you, this man was talking shit about Warzone and they still gave him a skin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi, I just you wanted, wanna know I what's about so that. funny? This man shits all over Warzone and you know your game is dead and you throw this man money and you give him a skin. I literally said, bro, because I remember uh FaZe Santana was even saying that like he's not saying Nick Merz doesn't deserve his skin because everybody on Twitter roasting him for I can say that shit because I got like a like a hundred fucking followers on Twitter. Who the fuck come cancel me, bitch? Anyways, what I'm gonna say is they didn't give this motherfucking Nick Merckx a skin because they love Nick Merckx so much. They didn't give Tim the Tatman a skin because they love Tim the Tatman so much. They realized that these motherfuckers, for the first time in their stupid ass lives, these guys have cult fan bases. Won't you look at that? A grown man with kids, a family, and the responsibilities decides to put those things to the side and go watch a bald guy sit in front of a mic and talk to a monitor. Hmm. That's some dedication, isn't it? Oh, y'all just fucking realize that shit. Maybe we should give him skins. Y'all should have gave them skins in Warzone 1 when Nick Merckx was pushing 300k on a fucking Warzone event. They should have gave him those skins when Tim the Tatman was pulling 60k because he's bored to him with his fingernails because he's bored doesn't know what the hell to do when he's reacting to videos. They should have gave Swag a skin when Swag was pushing 100k in that Toronto Ultra Tournament. They should have gave Skump that Damn skin. They should give him a skin, Black Ops 2. Bro was the only guy making pubs, shitting on everybody, competitive Call of Duty, and pulling millions. Bro, this man was pulling millions of views on live commentaries. How do those guys not have skins at this point? Now, nah, we're going to throw Nick Merckx and Tim the Tatman a skin because our, our fan base is dying. And are they not... Are, are, do you think they're going to not promote their own skin? <laughs> of course they will. <laughs> of course they will. It's easy. I'm like, oh man, and they're not gonna say the no. money, so they might as well. <laughs> they're not... throwing the money, they might as well. <laughs> it's just at the point we're at, man. It's like they they not they they don't even want their game to be nice anymore, bro. It's just what 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 fucking what fucking one handed Odell Beckham save can we fucking do to fix this weak ass game? All right, we got Nick Merckx him to tap and give him a damn skin. Now nah, I ain't gonna lie, their bundles are fire. But they should give them those bundles they are. on they, one. They, they really are good. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, man, I mean, like, I don't think they gave them out of good... That's what I'm saying, man. They didn't give them out of good faith. I, 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 gotta, I gotta write this note down because I, I don't want to forget that. But it's like they didn't give them those skins out of good faith. They gave them the skins because, oh, these guys have cult fan bases. They have to like it. That's fucking why. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just... I mean, we're at that point, you know what I'm saying? To where they, it's thought just, that, they thought that putting them in the game was somehow going to revive Warzone 2. No. It was, it, was, it was an influx of cash, I guess, you know, but I don't know, man. I mean, good on them, I guess. The game's still going to be shit, but it gave them money. It gave them their own skin. And I'm pretty sure people are going to buy it. Yeah, not, not a nice PR move, you feel me? But I, I don't know what they're using these funds for, man. Shit ain't working. Shit ain't doing nothing, bro. These motherfuckers ain't reinvesting. In, they reinvested it into nothing. I don't know what they're putting it into. But oh well. I mean that that's that's just how it is. I, you know, I don't even know this. Was there ever a point where you posted like Warzone content? So I, I, I don't know. Warzone if, one. Yeah. Back during Warzone one. What, 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 what kind of content and, were you posting for it? Like I was just mostly just posting, you know, fun little shit videos of just having fun. Like maybe no commentary. Me dropping like what? 10, 11, 12 kills at the time. Was like I said, I was just streaming to have fun. And I did a little bit with Warzone 2. I think my highest PR in that game was, what, 22, 23? I don't even know what my PR is on Warzone 2. Do I even have a PR? I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is. It's something. I don't fucking care what it is. That's how much I don't care. I had a PR of, I had a PR of 33 on Warzone 1. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't even remember if I've... I don't know if I've dropped more than... I think I have dropped more than 15. I didn't even save a clip. I don't record when I play Warzone 2. I get like 60 frames. It's pretty fucking terrible. I get 200 on Warzone 1 on Rebirth with my face cam recording while streaming, talking chat, having two monitors split, 200 frames on that. I can't even touch 100 with none of that shit open. Uh, son? It's wild, man. That's, that, that's, uh, that's uh, just at the point we're at. I had to ask because I'm like, I, I, I don't know. I was like, I'm not sure if I just haven't went that far back 
and you were posting it or if it's just like you just like never really fully like like dove into like content creation at that time I'm not like a full Warzone diehard like all these people are. Like, if you like Warzone, cool. More power to you. For me, it's fun for a while, but after that, I'm I'm over it. You've I, seen it all. <laughs> I hate battle royales. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like battle royales. As contradictory no as that sounds, I don't like them. No shit. It's just because. <sighs> Yeah, people are like, well, you played Rebirth a lot. Well, Rebirth is like a combination of multiplayer and Warzone. It's fast paced. Right. You respawn. You get your get back. You know what I'm saying? But that giant, this giant ass map, you spawn once, you die, boo hoo, you go to the gulag. My game lags in the gulag. I die. Somebody has to buy me back. Like, that's not fun. I don't want to run around <laughs> on this fat ass map with these motherfuckers playing. Playing the, the, the Iraq War with RPGs and snipers on a rooftop. I'll freaking pull up to this building. They they got claymores and C4 and shit. This dude stand on top of ammo crate. This this, this dude this this dude is Captain Price. This Shepherd's at the fucking door with a Desert Eagle. I get shot in the fucking face. I'm like, bro, this ain't fun, dude. Like, <laughs> this ain't fun. I want to play Rebirth. I want to run around. You know what I'm saying? I want to put 15 minutes to get all action, all 15 minutes. That's what I want. I want to play 30 minutes just to play Loot Master 3000 and then get the fuck offline. Like, it's boring. <laughs> you know what's the funny part? Everyone praises Warzone, but this is going to be a bit of an unpopular hot take for me. You ready for this one? Go ahead. Blackout's better. Blackout's better than Warzone? Blackout, in my opinion, is superior to Warzone. Now, like what I'm telling you, that's the one thing I was uploading every fucking day. I loved War Warzone. I love Blackout. I was literally uploading that bitch every fucking day, every day, just for the sake of it. And I was having fun with it too. Blackout was fire. I'm not gonna lie. I just, I, I just, you know, you know what I think. I think if Blackout and Warzone switched places in terms of their release date, Blackout would be the one carrying during the pandemic. I'll be honest. The pandemic is what accelerated that shit, 100%. Because most right. people are fucking gamers. NBA, and if NBA players were stuck in this fucking bubble. NFL players were stuck in whatever the fuck. God knows what. Motherfuckers just bored. Motherfuckers, we, we gotta walk. We gotta walk around with, with hazmat suit on to, to go get to go to Chick-fil-A and shit. Chick-fil-A working with hazmat suits on and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to get out the house no more. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck do you want me to do? All right, motherfuckers playing video games. Now everybody got a gaming PC. Drake got a gaming PC. You don't know. I, I don't even know if you don't even know how to turn that shit on. The Weeknd got a gaming PC. You don't even know how to turn that shit on. Freaking Odell Beckham got a game PC. Giannis Antetokounmpo has a game PC. Everybody got a game PC now, bro. Everybody got a game PC now, bro. They don't know shit that's in that thing. It just turns on and lights up, bro. That's all they know, bro. But everybody got on all of a sudden because the pandemic, bro. I'm telling y'all, man. That shit did a whole shift for gaming. That's so astronomical. It's not going to be repeated again, sadly, man. I ain't going to lie. Right. It really put it into perspective. You know, like, it was really the time to stream during the pandemic era. And I would say that was the peak. And you know what's that you didn't mention Warzone 1? I'm pretty sure you remember the Halloween event. I forgot what it was called. I what remember. Was the Halloween event? What, what, what was that called? I'm about to type Haunting it Haunting of right Dance. Haunting of Dance. Haunting of Dance. That's what it was. It started that with an H. It was peak fucking Warzone. That shit was fire. And right no now. one was going to disagree with that. That shit right there, when you saw that trailer, everybody was hyped. Every YouTuber was covering it. Everyone was playing it. You got no better than that. No better than think, that, bro. I don't think Warzone even came close to touching those levels of numbers. I ain't gonna lie. I don't Not think they did either. Too. I ain't gonna lie. They, they, they didn't do nothing close to that. I ain't gonna lie. Because <laughs> they're like, you not, bro. Sure, I'm pretty sure you can go to the trailer for uh, The Haunting of Redance in the comment section. Everybody was praising that motherfucker. There was not one bad thing to say about it unless you were a typical Warzone editor, of course. Man, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Them, them, them loot boxes, bro. The little jump scares. I never got used to them, bro. I never did. You chilling one whoever day. Put the, whoever put them in the game? This is my message to you. Yeah, you ain't got no soul. Whoever put that in you, you don't know to have a soul, bro. You, yo, it's probably this motherfucking Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. It's Mr. Crocker from the Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> and somebody, <laughs> some sick motherfucker that implemented that shit, bro. I kid you not. Whoever implemented that shit, you a bitch ass nigga. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Why the hell you put that shit in there, bro? 
Ain't no <laughs> way, man. What made it worse is that after the event ended, the shit was still there. Mm-hmm. When the event was over, the motherfucking jump scare boxes were still there. Were and still I got there. so pissed off. I got so pissed off, I legit turned off my whole fucking console. <laughs> Bro, I'm like, why are they? St-? I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Just showing. All right, let me get this box. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I thought he took this shit out, bro. <laughs> no, man, they, they, there was some. I think they fired everybody who implemented that shit. Even though y'all, y'all were some, 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 some de- demonic motherfuckers. I, right? they, they had a sense of humor and a sense for some sort of creativity. They're probably fired by right. now because I don't know what we're doing with this game at this point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're probably fired. <laughs> they probably got fired. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker was like, "Hey, man, this shit sucks. We should change it, man." Oh, you disagree? Oh yeah, you're fired. Bye. <laughs> 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 but I made Haunting of Verdansk. Okay, and. Cool. <laughs> What's what they did to them niggas, bro? I'm telling you, bro. They're all gone. They're fired. <laughs> they are fired. Completely fired. Wherever they are, I don't know. Wherever they are, man. I want you to know, bro. I'll I, I mess with you. I, I mess with you. I, I'm glad you did what you did. Now the last ounce of creativity the motherfuckers have. Now they're just re-releasing. Right. Now they're just re-releasing Call of Duty with the same names. We've had Modern Warfare. We've had Modern Warfare Two. Now we're having Modern Warfare Three. Fuck y'all are so uncreative. <laughs> y'all aren't even trying, bro. <laughs> like y'all aren't even trying, bro. At least Sledgehammer this tries. Is, this one they just juice in the Modern Warfare name at this one because they know it's gonna generate money. And they know motherfucker gonna buy it. Mm. Like, come on. Even my stupid ass probably gonna be dumb enough to buy it. Even though I said multiple times I'm never buying under the Sledgehammer Cod title ever again. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, whatever comes out 2023, I want y'all to know whatever comes out 2023 is gonna suck. I ain't gonna lie. If this sucks, what we got right now sucks. What the hell do you think is gonna come out? <laughs> it's so funny because this game is such in a in such a terrible condition, right? They're dropping another game, so if they can't fix this fucking game, but they have a new fucking game, and on top of that, it's made by the people that made Vanguard and World War Two. How good do you think that game's actually gonna be? Nah, like seriously, like to anybody who's thinking. I might buy that game. I want you. I want you just just answer this question for me, right? Put you all the way, all right. Put you all the way, all right. You know what I'm saying? Think, think, think with your brain for a little bit, all right? How? What is the? You, you, you didn't. <laughs> give Naz your water. Right? He's gonna do great things with it. All right? Just give him water. We're gonna hold it for a time being. All right? Answer this question for me. All right? Y'all went through school and did probability, right? What's the probability? That this game, all right. So we got what Sledgehammer games were made. We got um, Advanced Warfare, which some Advanced people Warfare. some people liked uh, it, but eh, not for me. It's it's that game's a little on the fence. It's mixed reviews. It's fifty fifty on that game. All right. Yeah. So we got Advanced Warfare, World War Two. We got Vanguard. All right. So. There's three dog shit Call of Duties in a jar, right? What is the probability that adding a fourth dog shit Call of Duty will result you with a great Call of Duty? See, when I form it as a probability question, they're like, that's dumb as fuck. Well, then don't buy the game. <laughs> the probabilities are against you, bro. The odds are against you. Do not buy the game, bro. Why do you want to buy the game? The odds are against you, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. So, anyway, I don't even play COD at this point. I don't. I really don't. It's just uninstalled. I got hella space on my PC and shit. That shit uninstalled. 200 gigabytes or whatever the flying fuck. It's gone. It's gone, bro. I'm telling y'all, man. The next COD, it's not going to be it, bro. I mean, it's obvious at this point. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what they are doing. <laughs> it's not made by Treyarch, so... <laughs> Just keep your money in your pocket. All I'm going to say is, Treyarch, please save us. Please make a good COD game. You are our last hope at this point. Hey, bro, Lou, I need to show you, bro. I made this. I made this Treyarch bat signal, right? I put that bitch up at the moon, right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You point the bitch up at the moon, and hopefully these motherfuckers decided to kick Sledgehammer out and make a solid freaking Black Ops game or something. All right, something. All right, because Sledgehammer, you don't, you guys don't know what you're doing, bro. I promise you guys don't know what you're doing, bro. And there's not one single Sledgehammer title that I can say I genuinely enjoyed. Maybe outside of Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. But outside of that, but think about it. MW3 had developers on Infinity Ward as well, and those were the devs that actually cared about the game to make the game great. The motherfuckers are gone. Some of the motherfuckers is working on X Defiant and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're gone. So 
I don't know what the fuck we got now. <laughs> I don't know what we got. I don't know what we got now. I be watching Blame Truth. And they be saying it's three thousand devs making the game for Infinity Ward. I don't know what the hell Sledgehammer got. They're working out of fucking Steve jo Steve Jobs garage. I don't know what the fuck going on here, bro. <laughs> I don't know what going on here, bro. <laughs> I don't know what going on here, bro. Mm -mm. That shit is is. I don't know. I don't know. I I'll see. You know what I'm saying? So somebody let me know how the game is. I ain't spending my sixty dollars on it. Or if I, uh, my bad, my seventy dollars on it. <laughs> my seventy dollars on it. You spending you spending seventy dollars on it? They say the old days were sixty. No, 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 no. We had seventy dollars plus tax and 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 if you buy the special edition of it with yeah extra things that come with it, like maybe extra camo skin, a character weapon skin, battle pass skips. Oh, bro, they scammed everybody for 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 the the extra edition with Mon for two. It was a hundred dollars. Nobody got their double XP <laughs> for months. <laughs> they said, "Oh, you have to buy the game through the Modern Warfare game app, and then from there you have to go through the store and then buy, it, and then you receive your double XP." Who the fuck finna do that shit? <laughs> Who the fuck finna do that? I'm like, that just shows y'all that that was a stupid rule for y'all to add. And then they were trying to fight back and forth with that shit. And then everybody was doing returns. And they're like, ah, oh, fuck, we losing money. Ah, oh, shit. All right, everybody gets double XP. <laughs> I'm like, all right, bro. This is this, this, this the point we're at, bro. This is this, this the point we're at, man. This is the point we're at, man. But enough for us to call dude. Enough for us to call dude, right? Uh, yeah, we, we, we've been on roast and call dude for quite a while now. We'll, we'll give him a break. We'll give him a break, all right? Nah, I gotta ask. Are there any are there any special projects or special video ideas, anything of that nature you got in the works? Is there anything you want to reveal to anybody who's listening right now that's got in the works? There is one thing that it's not COD wise, I'll tell you that much. I love to hear that. I love to hear that. Let's just say your boy's into uh making some music. And your boy's a big music head. Hey, you see the guitar behind him. You know what I'm saying? You got the guitar behind him. You got the weights behind him. He, he getting some. No, no, no. It, it's not the guitar. If you're a big hip hop person, you go, you're going to want to tune in after I'm done. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A little, little, little Nas 2.0 on the beat, boy. A little Nas 2.0 on the beat. Come on, son. I got some new projects. I got some new projects. It's not done yet, but once it's done, it's done. No, I applaud anybody for for trying absolutely anything new. Cause I ain't gonna lie, that's how it is. You start off, it's new. Everybody says, "What the fuck are you doing?" It comes out good. They're like, "Hey, I was rocked you from the start." No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. But nah. I, right. you know what I'm saying. But I applaud anybody for trying absolutely anything new because it takes a decent amount of courage to do that, knowing what the hell you got, knowing that, knowing any anything we try, knowing damn well it could go bad. That's why I, said, I applaud anybody for doing anything out of the ordinary, outside the box. I applaud anybody for doing that shit. So, hey, my greatest wishes to you on that. I want to see greatness on it. I want to see that shit. I want to hear that shit when it drop. You know what I'm saying? Hey. My, my boy, you know, my boy making music. I like to hear that. I like to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. If you don't mind me asking, what genre is we talking about? What genre is we talking about? Uh, Just a bit of hip hop and uh, outside of that. If I do venture outside of that, I'll be sure to uh practice on that before I let the general public hear it. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. I, I, I thought I thought you were finna say you doing some country music. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, I, uh -oh. I, 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 Nas X. I mean, I, I ain't got no problem with nobody doing no country music. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in Texas. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? I, I see some people that they, they look like me. You know what I'm saying? They got boots. They got big ass four trucks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they ain't nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like they gonna do what they gotta do. You know what I'm saying? And you never know. You know what I'm saying? You looking on the outside, you like, man, what the hell, bro? But they probably had a whole different upbringing you did. You know what I'm saying? So to them, it seems normal. And to them, it seems like something that just fits straight into it. But you're looking at it from the outside. They may be, they may fit right into it. But with how they grew up, you know what I'm saying? So I always give people a shot no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Now, if what they got sucks, I'll tell you it sucks. But I, I, at least they give it a shot. You know what I'm saying? I give it a shot. Most people don't give you a shot. You know what I'm saying? And constructive right. criticism goes a long way. You got to tell somebody. Don't just tell somebody they suck. Tell them, hey, this could be better if you do. Or, hey, man, have you tried this, this, that, that? Try implementing this, this, that, and the third. Maybe viewing it with a more open mind. You know what I'm saying? That's to anybody who's listening right now, if you got a friend, cousin, brother that's trying, or you that's trying something new, maybe it's not the greatest. Hey, keep an open mind to it, all right? Because new things may be discovered along the way. Improvements are going to be made. Now it takes that one. Mm hmm. That one. Like I say, with content creators, it takes that one video. Music artist takes that one song. We had. Don't take it out. 
Like, for example, off the top of my head, I can think of Pooh Shiest with Back and Blood, for example, right? We we think it, we're talking, um, I don't even know what was the first song for me. Like, for example, with Lil Wayne, for example, was Go DJ, right? That, with that song, you know what I'm saying? That's what put him on him from there. It was that, then six foot, seven foot, then all these other bangers he starts dropping. And then it's just, now you know about him, but it takes that one song that you just like. That more people outside of the genre that don't necessarily like the genre end up liking. That's why most of the top songs in the world are, are low-key country music. Even though I don't really like country music, but it's some of the best songs because a lot of people like them. That's how good it is to where it, like like other people that don't even fuck with this shit end up liking it. So that's one thing to always keep in mind. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying one thing else right. to keep in mind. So, so I love to hear that, man. I love to hear that, man. So last question I got on the podcast is Nas, who would you want to see on the next episode of the One Shot Podcast? Who you got in mind that could be a great guest on here? Hmm. If I'm gonna keep it a hundred stack with you, brother. Nothing's coming to mind. Hey, I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie. No, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Some people, they just, you know, because that, that's usually how I get more guests on sometimes. That's what are the outlets for? Because somebody's like, hey, man, I know one person that'd be great on here. Like a great example. If you ever check out uh, Team Havoc on Spotify, there's three episodes back to back. It is Slimezy, Craven, Majin. They're all in the same circle. I got Slimezy first. Slimezy told me about Craven. Craven and Slimezy told me about Majin. I got Majin on there. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, you know what I'm saying? It's just that snowball effect. So I usually often ask, you know what I'm saying? Or for any point in time, at any point in time, you're like, hey, Rinks, I know this guy. You know what I'm saying? That'd be great to hop on this podcast episode. Like my boy Poker did that, for example. He just messaged me a few days ago. I was like, yo, this guy would be a great person to be, to have on the podcast with. I'm like, hey, man, I appreciate it. So, at any point in time, if you got anybody that comes to mind, hey, feel free to let me know. You know what I'm saying? We'll get them on here, course, chop brother. it up. Absolutely, great, absolutely. Great conversation like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. For sure, for sure, man. So, to everybody tuning into this episode, man. We saw almost wrapping up this episode of the One Shot Podcast with your host, Ranks, and my boy Nas 2.0. You know what I'm saying? Any final words, any departing words, anything else you want to tell anybody who made it this far into the episode? I'm normally not the person to put myself out there like that. I'm quiet. I'm a loner. At the end of the day, I like to work. I like to chase my passion. And at the end of the day, and this is a word that I really don't use too often, I'm doing what I love. At the end of the day, you should do the same. Because we got one life, one shot, one go around. We're not getting a second chance at this. One. Chase it. One chance to It's do never it. too late. It's never too late to chase what you love. Because at the end of the day, you never know. You can be good at something. You may be bad at others. But once you find it, chase it. Once you chase it, you'll get it. And once you got it, you got it. That's how it is, man. You feel me? That that that's that's the wise words from that boy Naj. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys check him out on all the social media platforms, especially his TikTok. He streams, plays Black Ops Two, Black Ops One, I should say. He used to play uh, Black Ops Three, but you know what I'm saying? Just you know what I'm saying. He used used to play some other shit. You know what I'm saying? He could play some other stuff, but <clears throat> cease and desist. But anyways, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Make sure you go check out that boy Naj on all social media platforms: TikTok, Twitter. Do you stream on Twitch anymore at all? I still stream on Twitch every now and then. Check him out on Twitch anyways. Check him out on there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he may do a surprise stream. He may he may preview some music on there. You never know. You never know. You dig what I'm saying? Make sure you go check him out on all the social media platforms. He was an amazing guest to have on here. My boy Nas, I appreciate you being on here, my boy. Thank you. I appreciate Absolutely, you. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. If you need me back on here, hit me up. You know, I might come back. I got you, my boy. I got you, man. And to anybody else who also is listening, man, make sure you guys check out Team Maverick Studios on all of our social media platforms as well. We are we drop podcasts weekly. I try to do them weekly. I'm the one-man show on here. And I ain't going to lie, I'm still a little young, so sometimes I got other stuff I got to do, but I try my absolute 100% best. Sometimes people are... Hey, work talk talk with people kind of kind of kind of gets annoying sometimes but i do my absolute best try and get a podcast episode every single week for you guys make sure you guys tune in to team havoc on spotify check out team havoc studios on youtube instagram tiktok wreak havoc or wreak team havoc on twitter you know what i'm saying and y'all that concludes this episode that we had with my boy nas today make sure you guys follow us on spotify 
and we are out of here. Catch y'all boys on the next episode. We out of here, man. Peace.